But the idea of working with submodalities, you can pick them up, you can expand them, change them from black and white to color and various permutations. And you notice there was changes in your state mm -hmm. if you went along. I mean, you have to use your mind. It's not cognitive, it's not think it this way, it's experience it this way. So it's about engaging with the experience, which is what this is all about. Thanks for doing this. You're happy to record this, Mark, and I can use it how I like. You're sort of happy. I didn't force you. To, to no, like, no. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no. By doing this, it means you pass. So, oh, really? you know, it's just yeah, exactly. There's, you know, it's worth it for, for five minutes. You know, exactly. Um, the thing I wanted to, what I wanted to get on the camera, uh, but more importantly, to begin to go into sort of NLP techniques. Now, remember, don't ever forget this. All of these techniques are about how you help people make dissociations from resourcelessness or discomfort, association into resourcefulness or comfort and the ability to be able to take that resourceful state with them into the future. So no matter what fancy names things are given, that's what it's about, okay? And although it obviously, it's, it's logical, and it makes a lot of sense, and it makes a lot of sense neurologically, we're engaged with using our memory and imagination, all right, okay? So we're not trying to cognitively think our way to somewhere, we're experiencing a new state, something different, okay? So thanks for doing this, Mark. If you want to do this, I want to put this on camera and so that you guys can practice this afternoon as well. The concept, the idea, the skill that you read in all the books called New Behavior Generator. Okay? Now, NLP itself is based on modeling. That's how it came about. I won't go through the whole history of NLP. We've done all that and we understand that it's based on modeling and modeling of people who had great success. Modeling what works. Okay? And when we're helping somebody therapeutically, we also model what doesn't work. We meta-model, right? to break down the structure of how that person's creating their state through the representational systems and subsequent submodalities as the picture close, far away, or the sounds high, low, so forth. But one of the things you can do, because men, you mentioned it yesterday, Helen, you, in your case study, you were working with somebody and tried to find them to get go back to a resource. Remember, we, we'd learned that the more that the more that we can get the person to tap back into the resource that they have. They may have forgotten a resource, you know what I mean? But if we can get them to remember it, we can amplify it and then get it associated and connected to where they want to do it, great. But you quite rightly said, well, you know, I had this one person and they said, I've never felt like that. Was it, wasn't it, was that, was, Helen, wasn't that sort of thing about confidence, confidence wasn't it? Yeah. And that's not, it's not that uncommon for somebody to say that. And I teased a little bit, well, they're confident at some level. You know, and I took it to the furthest level, like breath, are you confident that breathing's good? Mm -hmm. You know, a very common one that Richard Bander would say. So you get right down to it, and the person, well, then you have confidence. Or, or other sort of double bindy type things, like, well, you say you haven't got any confidence. Are you absolutely certain about that? So, well, well they're stuck, aren't they? As soon as they say yes, so you seem very sure. I mean, okay, it's a bit of a play with, with, with words and a bit of a mind game, but it, it illustrates a point. Okay, it's not just done for nothing. But mostly people are able to come up with some arena in their life where they had a sense of confidence and they were quite sure about something, okay? And they could do with that in their future, which is something you did, Sarah, I believe, with the young lady who had the good interview. Something very similar, anyway. You got her to remember a time of confidence and connect that up and take it forward in the future, right? Okay. So and she, got the, she got the job, which is a great result. Um, although that wouldn't be... That actually achieving the job getting the job wouldn't have really been, I mean, that's, that's an icing on the cake. The real thing was for her to feel confident and comfortable in the interview because she can't guarantee the job. What she can guarantee or get near to guaranteeing is her own state of mind. And then she could feel good no matter what the result. Like the example I gave you of uh, the, the young man, Sam. You don't know whether he's got the job. And I felt really good about his state and his presentation. Okay, so that's what we're about in this, this kind of thing. Now sometimes, as Helen's client had said, oh, I don't have a time when I felt X, right? So by getting them to model, so you can accept that and say, okay, well, within a reason, everybody has to have a level of confidence about something. But do you know somebody in this situation that you're going to be in, i.e. the content area, who exemplifies exactly how you'd like to be? And most people can come up with something that, you know, relates to that. So you can begin thinking about stuff like that, Mark, as we do this. You know, think of an arena, could be in your football coach, it could be anything. I don't even need to know what it is. 
I mean, you can tell me what it is, but I don't need to know. Um, where, you know, more of something would be valuable. Okay? And you know somebody in your mind, you can think of somebody, who exemplifies it. Huh? Yeah, I think you've just done that, just looking at looking you. Right? Yeah? You've get, get, got somebody in your mind? Okay, okay. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, good, cool. Well, they, we're going to start with that in a minute, but not yet. <laughs> Mark, you're still looking at me with this sort of <laughs> look of like, oh my god, he's going to put me in a trance any no, minute now. Fine. You're okay, cool. Um, so the person could get that, the idea, or the model up in their mind, and, and where you're going to use the word visualize, because it's a, it talks visually, but if somebody says, oh, I'm not any good at visualization, well, you don't have to go into an argument with them. I mean, you can do things like, well, do you know what your front door looks like? Those kind of things, and the person goes, yes, well, you know, obviously you have some visual skill. I mean, you know, it might be worth doing that at some places. But you definitely don't want to get an argument about it. So it's easier sometimes to just say, well, okay, that's all right. You don't have to worry about anything. I just want you to use your imagination. Can you imagine, you know, can you imagine, unless I'll do something ridiculous, can you imagine an enormous orange in front out there? Can you imagine it? And everyone will say, I mean, if they're playing along, but I don't mean kidding on. I mean, going with it. Everybody, when I say that, they can imagine it. I mean, it's like the reverse of the pink elephant. Don't think of the pink elephant. But they go for it, you see? Okay, so, you know, even though it talks visually, this technique, you don't have to get hung up about it being visual. You say, okay, can you get the idea? Right? But you, are you okay at sort of making pictures in your mind? So, so? Yeah, okay. Sometimes, yeah, usually, yeah. And that's, that's pretty common. A little bit yes, a little bit no. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a funny kind of thing. And, you know, memory visualization, it's, uh, it's more complex than just a, a fixed picture. Okay? Um, now... Have you got a situation, Mark, that you can think of, which I don't need to know about, okay. all right, where it would be good for you to have more of something, more of it. By that something, I mean the state, the attitude, the behaviors, you know, the kind of thinking. Yeah? Of, of, okay, great, okay. And have you got somebody in your mind who, again, I don't need to know who it is, who pretty much exemplifies that for you? Provides a really good model, you yeah. think? Yeah, that's some good attributes there. Okay, yeah, yeah you yeah. got that? Good. Okay, there we've got sort of what we need. We've got the ingredients that we need there, Mark. Okay, so what I want you to do, I don't want you to close your eyes yet. <laughs> or go into trance yet. I want to just make sure that you can do it, right? So with a lot of these skill sets, I'll make sure that somebody actually knows what they're doing. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do is just Get that picture up in your, in your mind of that situation. Okay? You got it? All right. And in that situation, Mark, I want you to put that model, that ideal person. Take them from, put them in that situation. They're in that situation? Okay, good. Well done. Then. And while they're in that situation, I want you to see, hear, and feel what they do as that situation evolves, as it goes along. Yeah, that's it. That's the idea. Get it? Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Just to, you're looking at them. You're sitting here comfortably with me, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're just looking at that. I'll say a screen for easy, easiness, but you're looking at that picture. Okay. Okay. Not only that, I want you to imagine because you do know their model, so you're likely to have an idea of what they might be thinking and feeling, their values and beliefs. Right. To have that behavior. So it's not just a behavior like a hand going out. There's the kind of underlying reasons or, you know, yeah, the thought, yes, the thought processes and the feelings. Yeah, you've got, you've got all those things, all, all of those, good. And if I was to ask you to keep looking at that picture, instead of looking at them doing it, you kind of floated into that screen. You kind of took on those attributes that are beneficial to you, okay, and see yourself associated doing it. Yeah, that's it, just go inside it. That's right, yeah, that's it. Just let them close. Close your eyes. Yeah. And just relax. That's it. Go as comfortably relaxed as you like, Mark. And you can be as comfortably relaxed as you like. This is another process in hypnotic processing with NLP skills. 
that you're learning more and more about very well and very efficiently. And over time, you'll do these things extremely well. I say that because I actually know it to be true. Now, I want you to bring up that picture. Okay? Let's keep your eyes on set. Keep yourself relaxed. Really go down and notice your breathing. And go inside your mind and bring up that picture of that situation, just as we did a moment ago. And bringing up that picture, put the model inside it. That person who exemplifies. And even you can make them even better, in a way. Just exactly how them at their best in that situation. Look at them, see what they do. Imagine you can hear hear their voice that's spoken. Imagine how their feels to be inside their body. What's the feelings that run through them? All of these things you can do very quickly and very easily. Because your imagination and mind is clever and it works faster than my voice. And you can also imagine what kind of attitudes they might have. By that I mean what value belief systems might they have that help them be in that behavior or have that attitude that expresses that behavior. That's right. And let it just evolve until it's perfect. And when you've got it just perfect, this finger here can just move, but don't move it consciously, just get it right so you know it's right. Okay? And it's exactly right for you. little movement is just enough for me to know. And now I want you to just imagine, but even more powerfully than imagine, to really, really engage with, that you float into that picture. You can sat here, that's it, now float into the picture. It's as though you just slip into the whole skin and feel of that model, that whole idea. You're you. You're not mimicking, but you have the attributes. Therefore, you have the behaviors, you have the voice, the feeling, and you see the responses. Go inside it and live it in that way. Completely allow yourself to enjoy it because it is all part of you. So you go deeper into that and feel it stronger. That's right. And when it, that's it. And when it's just right, you can create an anchor to it. You can have a word, audio anchor, you can decide. Or maybe just that picture, knowing that situation's coming up and you make that picture in your mind. Or maybe you have a voice that says, and now. Or maybe it says, do it. Or maybe it's physical and you can feel yourself squeeze finger and thumb together. And that state comes upon you, comes from you, through you. And goes from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. You're right inside there. And you're carrying that state with you and having that with you. Now, in a moment, Mark, I'm just going to pick up this arm here, okay? And it's not going to go down any faster than you take that new behavior and put it into every place that you would like it to be. And it will be there for you. It doesn't matter what it says. It's nice and easy. That's it. Nice and easy. Just relax. That's it. That's it. And just let it just begin to drop down through your conscious mind and your unconscious mind, through your physicality, through your body, into your attitudes. See, feel, and hear that new behavior in all the places that you want it, wherever you want it, and wherever you want it. Play with it a little bit. Think of some time when you didn't have it. And now you want it. And use your anchor. It's over right for you. That's it. Down and through and deep through the whole system. Your mind, body system complete. 
experience it fully. See, feel, hear. That's it. Down it goes, bit by bit, piece by piece. Knowing that you've got this now, and you'll be able to take it away with you. And you can work it. Of course, as you know, because you're a football coach, the more that you work at something, the better you become. So that's the truth of all things. And you know from your own life experience across many things that that's true. And the more you take it away and practice it, and do it more and more, the more it'll be there for you. You know, it's the same as the stories of the golfer I helped. You remember that one? A student of mine who had a very high handicap and it was reduced so much that the Royal and Ancient Golfing Association couldn't and hadn't heard of a stronger or better score in their history. And that's because he was doing this sort of stuff. He was creating a new behavior. It was all him. And he was doing it. And it could be all you. And you're doing it. It's a natural part of utilizing all of your mind and all of your intelligences in an intelligent way. Because it's always best to be able to perform at our best. Hey, nothing's a guaranteed result, but certainly you add the odds in your favor by using your mind, your imagination, and that model. We become more and more associated to that model. Because it's a good one. The one you want. It's after all your choice. And you're making a good one. And that's it. All the way. All the way. You could go to the past and imagine you had it. Or go into the future and have it in the future. Because you've got it now inside you, inside your mind. And you can use your mind to take you where you want to go. That's right. Now just relax in your natural way. That's it. That's it. And just slowly bring yourself back to your normal level of consciousness. Gently bring yourself back, knowing that it's there for you. A little smile. Come on. That's it. You okay? Yeah. Feel all right? Yeah. Do you reckon you can do it? Yeah. No. You want to try? <laughs> well, that's the way to find out, isn't it? Yeah. You never know. But it's certainly worth a try. You know, I figure it's I I figure it's worth a try. Uh, the the golfing. So I told you the golfing story I read out to you about Rupert. Yeah. Remember that story about the golfer? He gave it a try, and he he scored an amazing score. He won't, have done, he won't do it every single day. It doesn't mean that from there on in he's going to be a scratch golfer. But it means at one time he could be because he used these skills. Now, you, you have a coaching background. You know how to coach kids. And I'm sure you tell certain kids, look, keep taking the penalty shot. And he goes, like, look, 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe not. But something like yeah, that. Right. I, like, like, if I can just use that as an example. All right? Okay. Whether you do or not, but you'll get the idea. And the kid takes a penalty shot and goes right in the top right hand corner and says, Hey, look, Mark, I did it, I did it, I did it. So you did you say do it again. No, oh, yeah, but I did it. Do it again. That's it. And do it again, right? You get people to practice yeah. time and time again. And now I want you to take that penalty shot and the goalie move about a lot so that every time the person does that, you know. It's, it's going to go in. Well, maybe it will, maybe it won't. We know that because there's the vagaries of the outside world. But each time that person steps up to take the shot, they have the confidence that it can do and it will do. And you'll have the confidence that you can do that if you do these things. Because your memory and imagination and the conscious desire to, to have that is there for you. So it's a skill you have. You own it. And you put an anchor to it, did you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't even need to know. But, you know, sometimes I'm curious. I'm curious. Yeah, so, okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, good, great. Okay, I believe it. Well, okay, that's fine. You told yourself something, and you know what that is, and you know you can create that. And then you can practice that. You can practice it before situations where you need that resource, you know, that state. You can practice it just for the sake of practicing it, just to feel it. 
But it's best to practice it a few times, keep doing it, and then step into the real situation that demands that state of you. And then you'll know for sure that you have it. All right, buddy? Great. Thank you, Thank you very much. Cool. Thanks, Mark.